Hey everyone, today we're gonna try to explain how to know which molecule is more basic or more acidic. They seem to ask this question in every final exam and it seems to be confusing many students. And the way to explain it simply is that to explain, like to solve examples and try to explain every factor that affects the acidity or the basicity of the molecule. So we're going to try to solve this question here and we have to decide which molecule of these four is the most acidic. Like we have to just put them in order from the most acidic to the least acidic. Now I wrote five letters here and usually these are the factors. So we have resonance which is R, we have hybrid hybridization which let's say if the molecule, if the atom we're talking about is sp3 or sp2 or sp, we're going to try to solve an example of that. And A is aromaticity. So if we look, for example, at the conjugate base or the conjugate acid and it breaks the aromaticity, then the original molecule is not basic or not acidic. Usually we use aromaticity when we try to compare the basicity of the molecules. We're going to give example of that as well. And I is just the inductive effect. And we're going to solve that. We're going to explain that in the first example. And E is the electronegativity of the atom that is attached to the like to the hydrogen or like we're going to solve examples of that as well. And actually we're going to add another letter, which is S, and the size of the molecule. So we're going to try to solve as many examples as possible to explain every factor. Okay, so the first example here. So obviously we're, we, he, like they want us to know which hydrogen is most acidic. And obviously all four of them are like all four of them are carboxylic acids. So we can say like this is the most acidic because it has a carboxylic acid because they don't differ in that. They all have that same group. So the differences are the substituent that is attached to the ring and how far it is. And also we have two molecules here. Let's call, let's call this A, B, C, D. So A and C, you can tell that they have an aromatic ring. With B and D, they don't. Now, we have two factors here. We have the, fact, the inductive effect, because the substituents are electronegative. So they are electron withdrawing group. And when you have an electron withdrawing group, you have more inductive effect. So more inductive effect, it increases the acidity. Why is that? Because if you look at the conjugate base of the acid, so like you remove a hydrogen and you add negative charge. And chemistry hates charges. So the conjugate base would be more stable if the molecule has an electron withdrawing group because it withdraws electrons and it decreases the, the negative charge here so it makes the conjugate base more stable and hence the original acid is more acidic okay but this is the inductive effect now what you should know in this example like if you only depend on the inductive effect you will say that D is most acidic because we have an electron withdrawing group and it's very close let's say if this was O minus, so it's the closest to the O minus. So it withdraws its electrons more. But sometimes you have to look at two factors when you solve a question. You don't, you don't just depend on one. So you should know that the resonance effect is stronger than the inductive effect. So first you need to realize that A and C 
are probably the most acidic because they have a resonance in them. Like let's say this was the conjugate base O minus. Okay, so and this is a conjugated system. So this conjugate base has more resonance structure resonance structures than B and D. So when you have more resonance, it also stabilizes the conjugate base. So more resonance. So when you have more resonance, it increases the acidity of the molecule. Okay? So A and C are going to be the most acidic. Now, which is going to be more acidic, A or C? So they differ in this group, and they, both groups are electron withdrawing, but NO2 is very, like it's more, elec more electron withdrawing than the halogen. So it's going to be number one, the most acidic. And then C, it's going to be number two. And obviously D is going to be number three because the electron withdrawing group is closer. And the B is going to be number four. So here we explain two factors, the inductive effect. So the inductive effect increases the acidity and the resonance. It also increases the acidity, but it is, it's stronger than the inductive effect. Okay, now let's explain factor number two, the hybridization. Okay, this is very simple. Now you should know that sp atoms is going to be more acidic than sp2 and sp2 is going to be more acidic than sp3. So this is the acidity and if we compare the basicity, acidity, it's the exact opposite. sp3 is more basic than sp2 and sp2 is more basic than sp. So let's say we had this hydrogen here. Obviously it's going to be H2. So which hydrogen is more acidic? Obviously it's this because it is sp and here it's sp2. And it's the exact opposite if we compare the basicity. Okay, is this, so this is the hybridization. Okay, let's explain factor number five, the E. Okay, so if you have, let's say, So if you compare two atoms that are in the first row and you want to know which, let's say, which hydrogen is more acidic, so you look at E, the electronegativity. So if the atom is more electronegative, so let's say here you have two electrons it withdraws, let's say, the electrons to its side more. So it's going to be easier to take this hydrogen. So more electronegative in the first, in the same row, it's going to be more acidic. That's why this is more basic. Okay? So if the atom is more electronegative in the, in the same row, it's going to be more acidic. And if the atom in the same row is less electronegative, it's going to be more basic. Okay, so this is E. But if you compare two atoms that are not in the same row, but in the same column, in the same family, let's say they asked you, which acid is stronger, HI or HF. So here 
the explanation is complicated, but it's going to be the larger atom that is attached to the hydrogen. So if the hydrogen is attached to a larger atom, it's going to be more acidic. So as you go down, even though fluoride is more electronegative than I, if you go down the column, HI is going to be more acidic because the column and the family, they are ordered like this. And even though the electronegativity goes up like this, but the acidity it's going to be stronger as we go down the column. So HI is a stronger acid than HBr. Okay, so this is how you do it. So if you compare in the same row, the more electronegative, more acidic. And if you compare in the same column, as you go down, even though it's less electronegative, it's going to be more acidic. So this is about the size. Okay, so we explained actually like every letter, but we need to explain the aromaticity thing. And the perfect example would be to explain the aromaticity is pyrrole. Okay, let's draw parole. Now it's five. Okay, if you look at parole, it's an aromatic ring. Why? Because it has six pi electrons. So here you have two, here you have two, and this pair of electrons is included in the aromaticity because it belongs to the exception that I explained in another video that if you have an atom that, had a, that has at least one pair of electrons and it's also connected to an SPT, sp2 atom, then, the, then this, this atom is also sp2 okay so all of these atoms in the ring are sp2 and when the when this exception applies then one pair of electrons is going to be included in the aromatic ring because of resonance so the parole is aromatic and if we want to know if it's a strong base or not well, obviously, if they ask you, like, predict if it's a strong base for acid, you can't do, like, these um, factors that we applied because there is nothing to compare it to. So you have to look at, the, like, if you have a base, you have to look at the conjugate acid. And when you look at the conjugate acid, like, when we looked at the conjugate base, it became negative because it lost an, a hydrogen. And here the conjugate acid is going to be like, we are going to give it a hydrogen. So it's going to become NH2 plus. So it lost its pair of electrons. Okay. So this conjugate acid is not stable at all. Why? Because the exception of the aromaticity doesn't apply now. Because even though it's connected to sp2, but it doesn't have any pair of electrons. And the exception says that it has to be connected to an sp2 atom to be sp2, but it also needs to have at least one pair of electrons. And here it doesn't. So we lost its aromatic like it, it lost its aromaticity once it accepted a proton, a hydrogen. So that's why if the conjugate acid is not stable at all because it lost its aromaticity and aromatic rings are very stable. So we don't want that. It doesn't want to accept a proton, so it's a very weak base because we lost aromaticity. So if we lost 
aromaticity in the conjugate acid or the conjugate base, usually it's a conjugate acid, then it's going to be a very weak base. Okay? Let's do another example. So we have this, and we have this, and we have to know which one is more basic. Okay, now you need to remember that here, when we compare amides with amines, we obviously have to look at the resonance, okay? Because here it's the same atom, so obviously size doesn't matter, electronegativity, inductive effect, no. So the main factor here is the resonance. Why? Because as we said, the resonance, it, it increases the acidity. So obviously it will decrease the basicity. Why is that? Because strong base means that it pair, the pair of electrons of the atom needs to be available to accept a hydrogen. And this pair is more available than this pair because of resonance. Because here, you have this resonance structure. It can move here, it can't move anywhere. So it becomes O minus NH2 plus. That's why amides are not basic at all. So amines are always more basic than amides because of the resonance factors. Okay, let's do one last one. Uh, now let's do a six member drink. this and this okay which do you think would be more basic okay which factor we need to look at here Okay, you might think it's ar the aromaticity, but it's not. Why? Because this nitrogen atom, the exception doesn't apply here because it's already an sp2. Okay, the exception says that if the atom is connected like to four different group, like it's like it appears to be sp3, but here it's already connected to three different groups, so it's sp2. And this pair of electrons doesn't even take part in the aromaticity. So here it's not the aromaticity. Because even, even if it accepts the proton, we don't break the aromaticity. Okay, because here is like here are our pi electrons, there are six already. Okay, so the factor here is resonance. So the factor here is hybridization because this atom is con this nitrogen atom is connected to four different things carbon carbon pair of electrons and hydrogen so it's sp3 and here it's connected to three different things one two three so as we said it's already sp2 and sp3 is more basic than sp2 so this is more basic so that's how you usual, usually solve it if you have any questions regarding that or you have an example that you want me to solve you can always message me on skype and i i will happily answer all the questions that i receive good luck